sent me a discord message he got his happy camper merch today that makes my little heart happy but i love that other people so i can hear his 
I can hold it for a few minutes if I need to. I could tell my mom that. But I won't. Just put it in my pocket. You know, when I was a little girl, coughing in my mouth too. So, I might need to come out for a little while. Okay, can you hear me okay, Chen? Put a H in chat if you can hear me okay. Hi, Jay. Oh, shit, I didn't update any of these goals or anything. Oh, my God, today has been... <laughs> hey, what's up, Flash? Okay, so <laughs> we are actually meant to be, um, <laughs> we are actually meant to be at a campsite right now. Oh my god. We are meant to be at a campsite right now. As you might have noticed by the window view, we are not at a campsite right now. Um, Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, it's been, um, today's been a day, but we made it. We're alive, and to me, that is a win. To me, that is, oh, I gotta fix our overlay. Um, all right, so we're gonna make a goal. This is gonna be for our next campsite, which will, or which is, um, what campsite number is this? Campsite number six? We had Flagstaff, NorCal, Cabin, Moala, the last one we were just at. Yeah, this is number six. Camp number six. Um, we're going to have to change the end date on that since that date is in the past. And go here, do this, save that. Um, well, the weather did get bad, so, like, at the end of the day, I am, like, I'm thankful, um, to be inside, but it is, <laughs> um, not a cost-effective, it's not cost-effective what has, um, taken place, <laughs> so... But we are just going to, we're going to do what we do, which is our best. <laughs> we're going to make the best out of the situation. Thank you, Squo. I did get your text, but I was driving all day and then trying to figure out the campsite stuff and then getting here and then trying to take care of Freya. And it's, um, sorry, I didn't get back to you. I appreciate you. Thank you. 
Um, okay. Okay, so Firebot should be on, you guys. Um, Berto, I see that I have a DM from you. I'm not going to open it right now, but I saw the preview. I'm not going to open it because I feel like it's something that I'm going to need to remember. <laughs> um, I see the preview of it, and I just want to say, because all I can see is, sorry to be a bother. You're never a bother. I love hearing from you. You're awesome. And please just always know that. Okay. Okay, cool. Good talk. Good talk. Glad we talked. I know nothing of your story. Oh, I will tell you my story. I will tell you my story. Hi. You ever wonder why you don't oh see funny pictures of me on the internet? Because I'm hiding oh five legs god. inside oh my, my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so loud. Jay, that's so loud. Jay. Jay, thank you so much. That looks really pretty out there. Hold on, guys. Look at that. Jay. Jay, dude. Thank you for the $9. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. That is stunning. Whoa. 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 Excuse me, mountain. Excuse me, sunset. Yes, birch trees. Excuse me, you glorious mother nature. I love you. I love her. Let me close this. Actually, I should just close it all the way. It's too um, Yeah, so my story, the camera never does a great view justice. It doesn't, but, but I must say, we have the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And of any phone that I have ever had, I feel like it does the most justice. Because it has this crazy mega zoom on it. Dude. <laughs> That's too pretty. Yeah, you were telling me about that, Bob. Um, so this is a view from the room. Uh, I was meant to be at a campsite today. Um, for those of you guys that are new, I am a full-time outdoor IRL live streamer. And when I say full-time, I mean, I don't have a house. I live in my car with my dog. And we're around the United States trying to get out into the world and see what there is to see. Um... I have been camping. I was lucky enough to get to stay at a motel for the past couple nights to kind of like reset to get ready for this leg of the journey. Um, <laughs> so a couple, um, a couple. What do you what do you call it? What do you call that? Like um, a series of unfortunate events took place kind of back to back yesterday i was at the motel um looking at getting directions for my oh my next campsite which was meant to be in yellowstone and they canceled my campsite sorry that was yesterday during the day um they canceled my campsite without any reason <laughs> which will be refunded for um in like seven to ten days but it still it was just a pain because um not only did we not have a place to go but we're out that that money until we get it back but i still have to pay for a new campsite so i found a new campsite booked the campsite 
paid for the campsite. <laughs> and I got there today, and wouldn't you know it, the whole campsite was full. And the owners of the campsite were not responding to messages, which, P.S., I had to drive 15 miles away to get cell phone service to even be able to message them about it. So um, I'm like trying to figure out, you know, what's going on, where Frey and I are going to stay tonight. And um, there are, so where we are is, okay, we're on the east side of Glacier National Park, but we're not close to the park. Like we're very far away. You have to take a whole different highway for like two hours to get to where we are. And there's nothing around here. Like there is one small town, but there's not even like motels. It's a reservation town. And so there's like a grocery store, a gas station, and then like places where people live. So this is the only lodging within, I'd say, 70 miles. <laughs> so obviously, we had to book this place. Um, it ended up being $189, you guys. And listen, the view is beautiful. The grounds are beautiful. But I don't even have my own private bathroom. It's like a, I have a room, I have a bed. It's a very nice bed. I'm going to shoot some Patreon content in here tonight. But all I have is a room. I have to leave the room to use the toilet or to shower or to use a microwave. <laughs> um, and yeah. So that's a little bummer. I feel like I'm paying a pretty high price for not a lot. Um, but I ended up the hip camp owner of the campsite that we're meant to be at ended up getting a hold of me and he was super apologetic and um, basically he like told me the whole, like his whole story. <laughs> um, and he's, so we're very co close to Canada. We're very up north right now. And um, he is Canadian. And um, Canadians are only allowed to be in America for six months total out of a year. And so they don't live here. They live in Canada and they come here every weekend in May and June, and then they stay for all of July and August. And um, his wife's mom, or their, his mother-in-law, takes care of the hip camp while they are in Canada. Well, apparently the mom, the mother-in-law, had to go get like emergency dental work, and she's Canadian, or something she's ukrainian but she had to get her work done in canada i don't know i didn't really understand that part but anyway she's not there right now and so like nobody was they thought that on a weekday that it wouldn't be an issue because you know they're never usually booked up but it just so happened that like i luna lucked it and i just ended up <laughs> I just ended up slipping through the cracks. He goes, I have literally, this has never happened. We've been running this hip camp for five years. I am always on top of it. You know, everybody always gets their confirmation messages and all this. Cause he never sent me like information on where to park or like any of it. And so <laughs> I, he was like, I don't know how this happened. I honestly, I don't know how this happened. It just was like a perfect storm of things that had to take place in order, <laughs> in order for this 
you know, hiccup to happen. So a couple things are going to happen. Number one, tomorrow we are going to the campsite. He has ensured me that someone will be there to meet up with me and put me in a, you know, our own little place. And also he's going to refund me for tonight since obviously I wasn't there tonight. And then he and his family come down on the weekend and he was like, I want to apologize to you in person. I'm so sorry. Um, he told me about all the other campers there. And one of them is a couple. They both work for St. Jude. And then the other is a couple visiting from Minnesota. Oh, my God. That's so pretty. Oh, my God. So, when you who's all. The moral of the story is, guys, if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. But we will always find a way. <laughs> Yeah, squirrel. Um, the grounds here are really, really pretty. Tomorrow, I started to walk Freya down. I wonder if you could see through this window. No, you can't see, but so this mountain scape, <laughs> I'm trying to block the sun for you. This mountain scape um, is, oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know what did I do? Oh hi. This mountainscape goes all the way around, like we're in the middle of it. We're in a big U. Um, and so there's a path that goes like down this way, past the lodge. And it's gorgeous. Hold on, I actually took pictures I can show you. Yes, flash, exactly. Yeah, I mean, living on the road, I, this is exactly what I signed up for, right? Everything can't go right all the time. Let me find a good picture. It's, like, stunning. Which is the best one. <laughs> this one's pretty good. So that is just like right down this little pathway. Um, I don't think I can stream, but if I can drive my car down there, it's a one lane road. If I can drive my car down there, we could just bring the Starlink. What's that sound? We could just bring the Starlink down and try it out, give it a little shot. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try my best. A very fun on. Dude, I'm definitely shooting on this bed. Look at this freaky bed, dude. Look at this. Look at this little bed. You know? We'll just. We'll just. Oh, people are arriving. We'll just make. We'll just make a freaking something out of it. Dude, they have all kind of like camera gear. Selfie sticks. I wonder if they're nomading too. Ah, the wind is so big. Oh, yeah, they got tons of stuff. Well, maybe I'll make a friend. Maybe not. Ooh, so pretty. Where is it? Come on, Tiana. We're back up near Glacier again. Hi, Kika. Plus, if you shoot in the morning, you'll get the light from two windows. Oh, I was going to shoot tonight, but that's fair, actually. That's better. I like the way you think, Squirrel. I just have to get up early then. Are they kicking you out of this place? Kicking me out? Why would they kick me out of here? I hope they don't kick me out of here. <laughs> This is supposed to be my house tonight. Hi, Slowpoke. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. My luck these past two days has not, has not been the best. 
Oh, also, there's like no marts or anything around here. But everything's so far away. And there is a little store downstairs, but it closes at 8 and I got here right at 8. Luckily, I stopped and I got a couple little groceries, but I really rushed through it because... Ah! Bear! Bear! Oh my god. Bear, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bear. Does that mean Breezy's here? Hi, Breezy. It's like you're a photographer or something. Oh, sorry. No, so that was an issue with the campsite that we're supposed to be at. Um, which obviously we're not there right now. <laughs> um, but we will be there tomorrow. We will be there tomorrow. It did get worked out. And like I said, the the freaking the person who owns the Airbnb. He was just absolutely mortified that it happened. He was so apologetic. I'm also a cinematographer. I didn't know that, Nika. What? Nika, do you know that's the first time you've ever told me anything about yourself? Nika, could we, could we try something? Could we try something where you tell me more about yourself? in the future that's freaking awesome dude what kind of projects do you work on yes and i'm so glad it made it hi bud hi cheese you're in the trap <laughs> Okay, chat, I would have the camera on me, but this is way too pretty. This is way too pretty. I promise. I promise when the sunset is like over. When the sunset's over, you can have my face again. But like. This is incredible. I won't let you miss this. Just because you're so obsessed with me. <laughs> I have a degree in sound design and mass media. Nika. Can I hit you up about sound design question? Well, I don't know if it's sound design. I'm just about audio question. How to like make things sound pretty. Time. Oh my god, I should be doing a time lapse right now. Well, I can't because I'm I'm really there. I'm gonna, wait, should I grab my GoPro? And it's very dog friendly here. Bray got to um, play outside with our leash on and stuff. Hi, city streets. I can't wait to show the landlord's boyfriend. He's gonna love it. <laughs> I'll send you a pic of him, Maria. Oh, cute. <laughs> Damn it, there it goes. It's just so pretty. I like keep looking at it in the camera. It's like I need to look at it in real life. It's just spectacular. Oops. 
<laughs> Earth of Goddess Wish. Do you drop a hi in chat and then I leave? Chat is so wholesome. Aww. I know. Usually you come in and I go, yeah, you. Yeah. And then you like drop emotes every once in a while. I thought for sure we were going to get a rainbow today. It was dumping earlier, but the sun was coming through and all those sun rays. Hi, face. <laughs> get that one for free guys for being so dang cute i take all of my freaking pictures on <laughs> i take all my pictures on the phone that i stream from because it has a way better camera that's why i stream from it i want to show you guys the pictures from today but i can't i can show you some other montana pictures though you guys are just joining us for the first time Look at that Montana place. That was just off the side of the highway. So was this one. This one was just on the road, on the way to that last campsite. This is our last campsite. Literally, that is, I took that picture from, from our campsite, just on my phone. No edits or anything. Also this one. Here's a pic from Glacier, West Glacier. We're in East Glacier now. Montana is seriously just the prettiest place I've ever been. <laughs> I've taken so many pictures here. Most of them are in, um, like I said, on the phone that you guys are on right now though. Let me start that over. Dude, that wind. It is going to be stormy today. Tonight. Hey, coffee. Got weed smoking country. Dude, people out here love smoking weed. <laughs> I was in Missoula yesterday. That was the other frustrating thing about yesterday. I thought I was going to Yellowstone, so I drove south. We're like, I would say probably two hours east of where we were staying before, but I drove over an hour south last or two nights ago to go to like be on the way to Yellowstone. And then we had to turn around. So it ended up taking five hours to get back up here because it took me some other way. Oh, so silly. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I was in Missoula yesterday. And it's like the most towny town that I've seen since I've been here. Um, you know, it has like a Coles and a Target and stuff. And um, it was just funny because on the way down there, you would just think you were in the middle of nowhere. And then there would just be like a random little dispensary in a little mobile home <laughs> with a big green cross on it. Or there would be a casino, or like Missoula. I would say if I if you looked at all of Missoula's businesses, I would say it would be casinos, adult toy shops, <laughs> and then well, I guess other than bars, casinos, adult toy shops, and rec shops. They were everywhere. They were everywhere. Isn't it gorgeous, Kanako? 
I told chat, I'm sorry. I know you probably want to see my face, but we can't miss this. And I don't think there's a way for me to sit on this thing and you guys also be able to still see the view. I could try. I could, maybe, maybe we could do it. Maybe I could make you be tall enough. Um, there's a chair here. But then you like lose so much. Okay. Okay. Like that. <gasps> no. So my head has to be like. Okay. It's both. Let's look. Oh yeah, we have. I can do a stream preview. <laughs> Dyke Jew Daddy just resubscribed Yo. for seven months. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yo. Luna says cozy. It is pretty cozy. It's not cold, but it is cozy. Thank you so much, Dick Dug. How are you? Is this closer now? Kind of. Ish. Kind of ish closes. See now the it's trying to auto-correct from my face, but then you're actually missing the sunset. Thank you, Dick Doug. Oh, that's my coworkers if they heard about the Teton incident. And funny enough, I didn't even think about the fact that a township here is call, also called Wyoming. So they were like scrambling for their phones to call people they know. Oh no. Oh no. Knuckle, thank you for the three stream streak. Dude, they're like scared for their families. It's not funny, why am I laughing? That's a mean thing to laugh at. That's a very mean thing to laugh at, Luna. Guys, I'm ruining the sunset. With my face. Okay, what if I just turn my back to you? And then it won't, it won't want to exposure compensate because it won't see my face. Maybe that's the way. You're not ruining anything? Yes, I am. I'm making the sunset bright. There we go. Well, if we're going to do that, then let me put you guys here. It's making me feel like he can hear every noise that I make. Am I blocking the whole camera now?
Okay, sounds good, Keek. I love you. I picked up a new cologne, Whiskey Reserve. It's the closest smell I can get to Oshit Misus. What? I've never heard of that song. I've never heard of that song. I've never heard of that cologne. I guess I've really never heard of any cologne other than like Axe Body Spray. Dude, it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see the detail, but it's like raining. So you, the clouds are raining and they're very dark, but the sun is setting underneath them. So they're like this very golden pink, like rose gold color. Oh, Usher. B, what have I missed? Uh, I did a little update of what's been going on with these campsites. <laughs> um, TLDR, Yellowstone got canceled without a reason, and we haven't gotten the refund for that yet, but I had to book a new campsite because obviously um, we needed somewhere to stay. Well, I got to that campsite and all of the campsites were full. I couldn't get a hold of the hip camp owner at first, so I booked this hotel because it's the only hotel in the like within 70 miles or something and now we're here and I talked to the hip camp owner and he was very nice and very apologetic and he's going to give me a refund for the first day since I wasn't able to go there um yeah so now we're just here we're going to enjoy the sunset this is a very quiet place that we're at very 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 quiet I can't tell if there's just like nobody, like nobody else here, or if everybody here is just like tired from a big day. <laughs> I don't actually know. Um, so we're just gonna watch the sunset, and then after we watch the sunset, probably play some marvel strike force guys if you haven't had a chance to play marvel strike force it's the very last 24 hours of this campaign you could definitely make it to level seven and you could totally make it to level i made it to level 30 in two days i made it to level 20 in less than a day so if you guys wanted to you know make some extra money for stream to help with this travel stuff if you get to level seven we get ten dollars you get to level 20 we get 15 dollars and if you've already started your levels and you haven't gone on to the next one um when we get to if you get to level 30 we get an extra 30 dollars so you could earn 55 dollars for the stream tonight for the for the travel and the stuff and the things i just got it downloaded where does the code go um claws so if you go to settings, it's going to ask you to sign in to your Scopely account. Once you sign in, then a redeem button will show up and you'll be able to, <laughs> um, you'll be able to input it there. That's really cool, you guys, that the sun sets over there um, because our campsite that we're going to be at starting tomorrow is actually not very far from here. It's just a little bit more that way. So we're actually going to get to see the sunset behind the mountains. That's really kick ass, you guys. At the last place, we were watching the sunset. Um, well, we weren't really watching the sunset, we were watching the light change over the hills. But we'll get to see, we'll get to see all the pretty. Tomorrow's gonna probably be another hunker down day. I'm pretty sure. No, I saw Merville. I said that I said something about it. Did you miss me saying something about it? <laughs> I 
I had a neighbor like that before. They used to knock if they heard me breathing. Oh my god. That's annoying. Um, yeah, so we got this. I'm thankful that we got this place. It's just very expensive for what it is. <laughs> we spent, uh, it was $189 plus tax. Um, and we just have a room. <laughs> Like we have to, it's a shared bathroom and a shared shower and yeah, and like the rooms are very, very, the walls are very thin. I can hear my neighbor clearing his throat. Did you miss my typos while I was gone? I don't know. What? How did you do a typo when you were gone? Hi, Mud. Oh, you mean in chat. Did I miss Oops. I miss everything back to you when you were gone. I wonder if this is any fun color changing tonight. The clouds look like Jesse flexing. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> I don't see it. They must have moved. They probably blew away by the time you said that. Or by the time, not by him, you said it, by the time I read it. We should, um, when the weather changes, we should do a cloud watching stream. Cloud on the far right is the elbow. Oh, like flexing downward. I see. Down towards the. Funny. Let me look at what the weather forecast is looking like. Yeah, so tonight, windy, 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 windy. Tomorrow, <laughs> windy, 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 all the way through till dinner time. <laughs> Close. And then, well, the rest of the week looks okay. Be chilly. Let's see. One, two. Let me see what day of the week. You guys, it's gonna be so cold at night. Oh my god. Oh my god. So next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Oh man, you guys. I hate Montana weather. I'm so over it. Are you kidding me? Hey, what's up, boo boo? It's been clear for days. No, Squall, I don't know why you think we have your weather. This is not, we don't have your weather. Your weather, I don't think your weather correlates to our weather here. Because you keep saying like that, and it's not, I'm not getting your weather. Here, it's not clear, and it's not going to be clear, apparently. We got rain. <sighs> you guys, it's going to be like in the 50s. I booked this place because when I looked at the weather report, it said it was going to be nice, and in the 70s. And we're on the water, and... <laughs> I'm so over this. Hi, Vanji. It is Glacier National Park. Yeah, but I keep checking. It's not like I don't check the weather before I book these places. I look at where they're at. I check what the forecast is, and it just keeps changing for the worst. <sighs> Don't 
tired of being cold. <laughs> Thank you, Vanjie. One day I'll see the sun again. Unpack the flannel bikini. <laughs> True. True. Tomorrow's a beach day. You should rush here to hang out with me. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it. That's kind of a far drive, isn't it? Wind is wind. Okay. If it's if I came in here, it said that there was a way to there's a way to control the heat under the bed. I think this I think the sun set. The sun set it. What do you guys think? I think the I think the sunset has it has set. Oh, but I probably oh, man, okay. I want to like what if we did this? I want to angle the camera so you guys can still see, like, outside, kind of. Yeah, there's a mountain back there. Look at that mountain. Wow. 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 I got pita chips. Pita chips. The sun has sat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, school, if you're doing that because the screen keeps turning gray, um, it's because I'm connected to this place's Starlink. So when this when their Starlink is switching, that's when the bit rate is dropping. the gray happening. Dude, thank you so much. I am 13. Thank you. What level have you gotten to? Today's the last day. I appreciate that so much. Discord, I want to scream some good vibes at you. Mm. Exclamation point in your face. Mm -hmm. Mastery of monsters in the fridge. Yeah. Peter can go is just to oh behind that. Exclamation point universe. Exclamation point universe. We aren't outside in this. Hi. Okay. 
time for some dinner. Today for dinner, we have this chicken Caesar with creamy dressing, crisp romaine lettuce, white meat chicken, and Parmesan cheese. Mmm, delicious. It's going to be so good. So good. And also, townhouse pita crackers. Oh, and I should get some water too. Hey. Hey. You guys want to know something sad? My heat rash is back and it hurts really bad. It's on my chest and I can feel it burning me. I think it's because I took a hot shower and my skin is like. What is this? Why do you scald me so? <laughs> Why do you? I think it's a level 15. Dude, thank you so fucking much. Thank you. If you got, so if you get to level 20, that's the next, that's like the next um, amount to help, or the next level to help stream. Have you done the, um, the auto wins yet? Have you played around with those at all? I actually really like the game. Cortisone cream? No. I have a diaper rash cream that I was using and it was working well. But today when I put it on, I don't feel like it's working as well as it was before. I need better lighting. I need to grab my own. Other little lights. <sighs> okay, let's do it now. Tell her to listen to what I said. I love you so much. I love you so much. Sorry, I'm I'm just a little <laughs> I'm a little out of sorts. I'm trying to I want to make everything look nice and look right. I don't mean to. I'm not paying attention to what you're saying. I'm gonna
level 46. Holy. Thank you, Bear. Thank you. Okay. Oh, good luck with your laundry. Good job doing it. I feel like I'm terrible at following through with laundry. I didn't put the dressing on. <laughs> Thank you, Mud Sonata. So it doesn't tell me as soon as you download it. It tells me when you start hitting certain levels. So when you hit level seven, stream elements will tell me. Like if you hit level seven, level 20, um, then it will, it'll give me a little silent notification just to let me know that you're in there and doing it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It really does help, you guys. We have already made like $600 from this little seven-day campaign. So thank you guys so much for playing. It's better? It just doesn't want to focus on me. Hello, this is my face. What's it trying to focus on? I don't understand what it's trying to, what is it trying to look at? <laughs> it's me. I'm the thing you should be focusing on, Cameron. Hello. Okay. So last night, I couldn't fall asleep until like 5 a.m. And then I had to wake up at 9 to get the car all packed up to get ready to go. And I woke up with a heat rash and I was tired and then I drove all this way and then the campsite was full and then I spent all this money on this hotel room. Today is just... Today's not a go right day. <laughs> That's okay. What are you gonna do? Thanks for the hug there. I just wanted to slap the shit out of the camera. Ethan, if I didn't literally need it to do my streaming, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 
These past couple days have really taken it out of me. I'm really trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to find the flame, but everything just keeps going wrong. Mar, <laughs> Mar, thank you. Thank you so much for the four month resub, Mar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Mar, raise your husband. <sighs> so gorgeous. I love it. You were absolutely right. This place is so special. Jay, thank you for the $5 and the dancing. Thank you. Glacier's so special. Did you do East and West Glacier when you came there? Yeah, like everywhere looks like it's a movie. Let me show you. So we accidentally have to stay at this hotel tonight. And like it wasn't in the plan or whatever. But look at our backyard. It's just our backyard. Freya and I, I went to go take Freya to walk back there earlier when we first got here. But then uh, I either heard an elk or I heard a bear. I don't know which one. So Fran and I came back. I like didn't even think and <laughs> didn't even think about it. I didn't grab my bear mace. <laughs> Fran and I just <laughs> going on a casual little walk. Bears coming out of the forest. Mm. Okay. So it's the opposite for us. <laughs> we went. To West Glacier and like did all the reservations to do the go to the sun road and all that stuff but that's all closed off because they're repaving all the roads and such so we drove all the way to East Glacier and um I only because I only got to see like the very beginning of the park for like the park entrances Hmm. One was flooded. Um, well, from what I've experienced here on the, during my time, the east side seems to be more um, elevated, farther away from the water. Can I think here?
someone is definitely not supposed to be on the bed. Hi, what's up, Slick? <laughs> someone is uh, absolutely forbidden. <laughs> It's so dark in here. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to post um basically I'm just being a little mean in this vlog post. And I can hear my people sitting in my throat. So I'm not trying to make the whole post this in my eyes. So I'm trying to be I'm trying to be quiet and respectful and stuff. Can you guys still hear me okay then? Even though I'm whispering. <laughs> I can put you there. I just didn't want you guys to have to hear my crunchies. My crunchy crunchies. Just a little pre-made salad from the grocery store. I stopped at this grocery store on the reservation because we're um, very close to the Blackfeet reservation. And I'm so thankful I did, because there is no stores around here, like the reservation was about an hour away, and that was the last time I saw a store. That was my day? <laughs> You know what would be a more fun question? How was your day, Beth? <laughs> Nico? Oh, it's better? Okay. <gasps> Mar? Is it so cute and itchy? Are there pictures in there? Me too, Saladis. They come in handy. It's so cute and it only feels a little weird. I bet it looks so adorable. I posted a little pic on Twitter. Okay, hold on. Okay. Let's go see our cute little mouse. <laughs> Why aren't you the first thing that comes up when I type in mom? What the hell? Why can't I find you? Why are you crying, baby? I'm following you. Aren't I? What in the absolute heck? I am following you. Why don't you show up when I search for you? 
That's so sweet. Mob Psycho is super good, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, you have the perfect nose for it. It's so cute. It looks so cute and adorable. I love it. Aww. Aww. Hey, Creamy. Nice bed frame. Yeah, I'm going to shoot some Patreon stuff on it. It's pretty huge. It was supposed to be a double bed, and then they were like, well, we have a king bed if you want it. And I was like, the door. Maybe this little noodle will go to bed now. Looks like she finally gave up and is back home. Me? No. No. No, I'm at a hotel because my campsite that I reserved canceled on me. The Yellowstone campsite did. And then the second campsite that I reserved was full when I got there. So. We didn't get there till like six. So I had to make a pimp decision. And now we're here, but only for tonight. I followed you. You followed me? Yeah. The 90s were so good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm so glad I got to be a 90s kid. Hi, Nikita. Want some snow? Where are you going? Where are you going? I think my neighbor is sick. I think my neighbor is very sick. He just keeps going. Hey, Erratic. She is a German Shepherd. She is. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Last night, we, so thank you guys again for getting us a motel the other night. Freya and I went, we stayed at a Super 8, which I had never stayed at one before. Um, what's up, D.L. Miller? <laughs> I had never stayed at a Super 8 before. I think it's just like a Motel 6. Um, it was so disgusting. <laughs> it was so gross, you guys. Um, I got there and, like, the shower had obviously not been cleaned. Um, the floors had not been cleaned, and I realized it after Freya, I gave Freya water, and Freya, like, doesn't drink the water. She just splashes it around, and I went to go wipe it up, and the towel was black, and I had to ask for new bed sheets because there was another person's hair and, like, dog hair in the bed that wasn't mine and Freya's, and there was makeup on the pillowcase and I didn't see any roaches but there were like these giant dead ants in the room it was really it was really uncomfortable <laughs> um but I realized something weird about myself um so it's I thought I realized how odd it was that I was so turned off by like this human filth Meanwhile, I literally, like, didn't have a proper shower for 10 days and, like, live in the dirt and in my car and, like, you know, 
<laughs> going to the bathroom outside like none of that bothers me but human human filth just grosses me out did you even sleep i did i did i just like mind over mattered it the room was only we raised 220 dollars for a room and the room came out to be 217 dollars so you know a hundred dollar room just isn't what it used to be you crying you got your bed here can you take this off can you take this off where's this mm -hmm. Is somebody gonna match my fridge? streak she is such a good girl <laughs> the thud, thud, thud. yeah somebody's gonna think i'm in here getting play really i'm just scratching my dog's belly <laughs> good luck finding a one bedroom room for a hundred bucks cool okay bye it was nice to meet you. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. Okay, bye. Probably because it's filth in a place that's not usually filthy. Oh, yeah, maybe. The tan went away. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> No, Freya, I have nothing else for you right now. Mama's relaxing now. I just want to say thank you for all the fun moments you gave me in the last six or seven years. Aw, you're welcome, Sammy. Thanks for being a part of my life. Do you know Hitch? He's had a super at the moment. Oh, that's so funny. He's probably more used to it than I am. Before I got on the road, like, I don't know. I it's not like I am bougie or anything. I don't need a lot. I just need basic cleanliness. Go lay down. Go lay down. Don't look at me like that. It's not playtime. Go lay down. Good girl. Good girl. The wind is so windy. By the by, you're gorgeous right now. Me? Thank you. I feel like such trash. <laughs> I think sleeping in a bed, like, or at least the Motel 8 bed actually made my it actually made my back worse. Today, my back's been hurting all day. I didn't sleep very good last night. Oh, I'm just having one of those days, but stream is working and that's making me very happy. Cause I, you know, when like, you know, when you're having a bad day and so you just expect that every single thing is gonna go wrong. I was positive. I was like, there's no way stream's gonna work. Like there's no way. I'm going to get service enough to do this and it's working. So <laughs> I'm thankful. My dad, dad melts corn on cheese as a snack. He has a very specific diet because he has IBS or something. So he has to be super picky about what he eats. He seems to enjoy it. Mm. Steady loves making cups of corn. Corn in a cup. 
I was in a hotel last week and the bed was way too soft. I woke up with back pain every morning. But could you walk barefoot in your hotel room without your feet turning black? Must be nice. I ended up wearing my Crocs for two days straight, except for like when I put my feet in my bed. <laughs> All right, so I got a, okay, sounds good, Sammy. It was a very old building, but it was clean. I'm glad it was clean for you. I, <sighs> this weather forecast is really, really quite depressing <laughs> it looks like maybe we might just end up leaving this campsite early too <laughs> well it's gonna be down in the 30s at night time <laughs> I love you. What are you doing? How's your night going? Hello. Listen, Jay. I'm sorry about your hot weather, okay? But if I could give you this cold weather and take that instead, I would. This fucking sucks. <laughs> It's going marvelous. I got lost in the woods today. That's a perfect day. That's a perfect day. We gotta start figuring out, we gotta start figuring out our days. I have, I have specific dates now. Five, it's five specific free days in a row. If we're doing it that week in July, or if you want to do it, at the end of June, I just have to be back. I mean, we could do it the 21st through the 27th, I think, is when I have to be back in Washington. I'd like to see you again too, Mar, if you're free. Hi, Moonbeam. I'm pretty attracted to myself. Just seeing you and Freya and hearing your voice is so relaxing. I love and appreciate you and your baby girl so much. And it's so awesome to be able to hang with you. Oh, I'm glad that it feels that way. I feel like when we've been on the road, everything's been so exciting. and There's been like pretty views. So it makes me, I almost feel kind of guilty. Like coming to stream like this where it's nothing. I'm just sitting here. Like... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not showing you anything cool. Um, but I'm glad, I'm glad that, I'm glad that you're getting something from it because that's what I want. I don't, I don't ever want to just stream and you guys aren't getting anything from it. Oh, thanks for the hug. Thank you. <sighs> what other time checkout is here tomorrow? I didn't ask me. I'm gonna whisper ASMR. So this is the only like hotel or accommodation like within 70 miles of here, other than my campsite. <laughs> there are like um tribal places, but I'm not allowed to go there because I'm not Blackfeet. Um, so this was my only choice. It was $200 for this room. And it's literally just a room. It's a very nice bed. But like, I have to share the bathroom and the shower. And the walls are paper thin. So when everybody wakes up tomorrow, I'm sure I'm going to wake up too. 
I can hear my neighbor clearing his throat and coughing. I think he's sick. So I'm trying to be respectful, mindful of the other people. Because I have a, I'm loud. <gasps> More. More. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving that subby. Guess what? Guess what? We're partner plus now, so we get 70% of that. Eight, 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 eight. Thank you. Thank you. Those places are always adventures. Yes. This is quite the adventure. It's relaxing and fun just chatting. Oh, thank you. You exist, so we're always getting something. Oh my God, you guys are so nice. <laughs> oh my God. What? Please, thank you for gifting that so. Stop. Why are babes gifting subs to me? You guys are such babes. Oh my God, Jay. <laughs> Jay, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Dizzy. You guys. <laughs> Don't be nice to me, I'll cry. <laughs> Oh, cry. Today was such a hard day. Thank you for all the gifties. I can hear the hotel phone downstairs ringing. Can you guys hear that? Drake! Jake, thank you so much for gifting that sub. You got Maladeth. That's Chad. Thank you, Jake. Matsunada just became a tier one sub from the Prime sub. Thank you so much. Peep in your game. Thank you for the hundred bitties. You guys, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> we love you so much. You're late to so many people. Don't be nice to me. I'm gonna poop on it. I'll do it. I have to walk so far to get to a toilet, and you're right here. Don't be nice to me. <laughs> oh my god, you guys gotta hide. Why are you doing the hype train? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I don't even know where I'm at. Thank you guys for getting a hype train started. I love you. You know, poops when you're nice to her, it's true. Yeah, that's why I have so many pants in my duffel bag. What's up, Juke? Hi, Jill. Thank you for being an incredible friend and human, and I'm sorry for the much. You're not sorry. You're not sorry. But I love you too. Mar, you're the sweetest human. <laughs> I'm getting loved on by babes. <laughs> just scared this guy. I can just hear my neighbor. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not sorry. You're right. I'm not. I know, I can just like, I can see both of your little mischievous faces. <laughs> Get loved on. <laughs> we're so close to level two. Yeah, we're only 14%. Holy guacamole. Mar, thank you for. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Mark, thank you for the hundred bitties. Lynn, thank you for 
you that subbed a major hostility. We got you. Thank you for the tier one sub. I will show her. Get her. Listen, I'm, I'm just an innocent. I'm just an innocent little girl. Just chilling. I'm just chilling. I'm just hanging out, chilling. Okay? Just chilling. Oh my god, Jay! Jay! <laughs> Jay, thank you for gifting that sub. Solitis, thank you. Jay, thank you for <laughs> thank you for gifting that sub. Solitis, thank you for the prime sub for 13 months. Peep in your game, thank you for the 420 biddies. I gotta work on my words today. Can you believe it's freaking 1030? It's not even dark outside yet. It's freaking me out, man. Well, thank you for the 500 biddies. I don't know why I didn't read your message. Gasm, gasm. Thank you for the gasm, too. Thank you. <coughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Gasm so hard it made me cough. I don't know. You want to see? I'll show you. I mean, in Washington... Let's do Stop it, Nikachu. Thank you for the 20 bitties. Thank you. In Washington, it's the same. I want to focus. In Washington, it's the same. Well, I don't know if it's like this light at 1030, but... Um, In Washington, you know, I was, I'm in Washington, something happens. Does me redeeming that mean I get to flirt with you or, um, I'm sorry. I didn't know that wasn't what we were doing already. <laughs> Wait, up, <laughs> up until this point, that's. This has not been flirting. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I'm capable of surviving an actual flirt. If what we've been doing is not flirting. I think I would die. Like might actually just disintegrate into nothing. I'm trying to see if I have any snacks hidden amongst my things. So, a rogue candy bar. <gasps> Wait, I do have a rogue candy bar. Is it in this bag? Yes, yes, yes. Gentle. Oh, so gentle and soft. Okay. Thank you guys for the hype train. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the hype train. Goblin Luna activated. Oh, you think you're tough, huh? I'll beat your ass up. <laughs> okay. Promise? I just want to feel something. <laughs> what 
that's a fun dog hi demon time gremlin time dude okay listen this is my favorite candy this is my favorite candy but not in like this isn't my favorite candy in a um i could eat it all day but if i'm gonna get a special delicious little treat I know that probably actually looks backwards because I have a selfie cam on. Reese's Pretzels Big Cup. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that orange is my favorite Fanta. I haven't tried the caramel one yet, but I feel like I like take fives. And those are like pretzels and caramel and Reese's stuff. What in God's hell is that Reese's? It's very good ones. So, hold on. A whole. It just has way more peanut butter. And then the the pretzel adds a little bit of crunch, but it also adds like a salt. So it kind of just tastes like like a peanut butter chocolate covered pretzel is very good. That cup is thick. Yeah, I like the thick cups. I never super cared for Reese's, mainly because I was like, it's just all this weird chocolate and you get barely like one bite of a Reese's has enough peanut butter in it. Mm, remind me what a nut waitress is. It sounds funny. I don't think I've had the white chocolate Reese's before. Reese's has so many different flavors. In my, I'm not a huge candy girl, so. Take what I say with a grain of salt. But in my opinion, I feel like a lot of candies have tried to like branch out and try new things. And it's just gross, you know? Like, um, I can't think of an example right now. But like Snickers, having all the different types of Snickers bars. Reese's, I feel like, has successfully branched out and like made other versions of Reese's that are still true to Reese's but way better almond joy is that the almond the coconut with chocolate poured over the top Chat, what's your favorite candy? If you go to the gas station or the mart, wherever, and you get to get one candy, I'm your mom and I'm taking you to the grocery store. Okay? And you get to the candy aisle. And I say, you have been a very good little one today. And since you've been so good and followed directions and done good listening and used good manners, you can get one treat. What's your treat? What is a cow tail? <clears throat> Slick. Those Albanese. If y'all like gummy candy, you have to get the Albanese gummy candies. The gummy worms are good. The gummy bears are good. I think they use like real fruit juice or something. Oh, and like the gummy is always perfect. It's never too chewy. Dark chocolate. A Reese's. Oh, a Reese's mommy. Caramel with the white powdery cream. I've never had this bomb dog. 
it's in the oh, so you like bite it off. Do you ever hang out with anyone? Hey, Pox, I do. <laughs> I do. We're just we're doing um, like Montana streams right now, and I don't know anyone in Montana. But yeah, we hung out with um, friends on stream in California. We hung out with friends on stream in Oregon. We'll hang out with friends on stream in Washington and then back in Oregon. I'm like a Pacific Northwest girly, so that's where most of my friends are. <laughs> you feel like a big fun woman. Mm -hmm. So I am a solo nomad. I mean, and I do travel alone a lot. Um, I guess I'm kind of a loner. I do, or I wouldn't say a loner. When I'm close to my friends, I love to be with my friends. But I also really enjoy adventuring on my own, too. It's kind of nice to really only have to answer to myself and to be able to switch up plans on a dime. And, you know, it's nice to, like, just only consider myself sometimes, too. Pecan log, that sounds like... It sounds like another name for poopies. <laughs> Hi, Mojo. I am comfy. A cookie dough Twix. I haven't tried that one. Who hangs out with a four-legged friend slash family member? And you guys. I don't know how many legs y'all have, but maybe the streaming of it all is what makes me not feel lonely. Like, hold on. Sometimes I do feel lonely. That's just because I want to, like, snuggle. <laughs> I just want to hold my hand. Play with my hair. How's the road trip? It's good. It's good. We've had a couple of hiccups. Um, we've had a couple of hiccups this week, but still holding strong. Um, yeah, guys, we do have today's our last day for the Marvel sponsorship stuff. If you guys would like to help us earn free money for the stream. From Marvel Strike Force. If you use my link and download the game, it's free to play. If you get to level seven, we make ten dollars for the stream. If you get to level twenty, we make an extra fifteen, so it's twenty-five dollars for the stream. And then if you get to level thirty, then we get an extra thirty dollars, so that's fifty-five dollars for the stream. I'm gonna see exactly how long we have left. Um, you definitely have enough time to get to level twenty. If you start playing, if you start playing Meow, we only have 14 hours left. Um, it's our last 14 hours in the sponsorship. You guys can help us. You guys can help us make some extra money for travel. We get paid next month. Um, so it'll help go to like July adventures and stuff. Sorry, I just was thinking about what I have to do before I go to bed. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to hit the Alliance target, unfortunately. We do, it, you have to go on a raid and then we have to like level the Alliance up. And I just don't think we have enough time to do it. How long is this trip lasting? Until I give up. <laughs> Until I give up. I don't know. Um, originally, the idea was to go until the end of summertime. 
Um, I think um, we made it through the first month. Now we're in the second month. I think June is just going to kind of fly by. We have this campsite, or well, not this, but the campsite we go to tomorrow. Then um, Idaho for a couple of days. And then Oregon, Washington for a week. And then yeah, I don't think I can get to level 15. Well, maybe I could get to level 15, 14 hours. I don't know. Um, and then yeah, and then at the beginning of July, I'm gonna take a little bit of time off. And then we have friends that we're going to camp with and then we have other friends we're going to camp with and then I don't know maybe I'll start looking for a place like in August maybe we'll see I really want to I want to do this full time like I just want this to like be it but in order for me to do that, I need a bigger vehicle and we need an updated Starlink. We need a, um, the mobile high performance Starlink so that we can stream in more places and just have it like going on the car so that we can, you know, stream through national parks, stream in the middle of, you know, BLM land or whatever. And then also just have a, be a bigger vehicle so that I am not having to unpack everything out of the car in order to utilize the car. Um, for camping and such. Yeah, no home base. Like I put everything, everything that I own is in a pod that's in storage. Um, yeah, I have no home base. Like this is full on full on I feel like the first month went by super fast June we keep running into silly little hiccups but we're gonna get through it we're gonna get through all of them and then July should be nice because it's gonna be I'm gonna be spending a lot of time with friends the majority of July the entirety of July will be with other people and then um and then July 31st is my partnerversary we'll probably do like a special event for that we'll send it baby <laughs> yeah more room for sleeping would be really nice I did at our last stop uh I didn't sorry you guys I didn't stream um we went down to M Missoula Montana. I thought I was on my way to Yellowstone, which <laughs> we're not, obviously. Um, anyway, I went to Missoula. I stayed in a Super 8 motel there, and I just got everything done. I got all the laundry done. That's been <laughs> two weeks worth of laundry. I cleaned all the bedding, got the car reorganized. I also donated a bunch of stuff. Well, I say donated. There was a very large homeless population in Missoula. And so I took my, I went to Cabela's and I bought myself like one of those super lightweight um, air mattresses, the really thin ones that like backpackers use to put in the car. And then I bought a smaller sleeping bag. Um, it's rated for 40 degrees which now makes me sad because I was like I'm not going anywhere where it's going to be under 40 degrees and now the weather's changed it's 30 degrees outside but whatever it'll be fine and um anyway I washed like my sleeping bag and I gave it to a man who was sleeping outside um I asked him if he would like a clean sleeping bag it's rated for zero degrees and it's like it was flannel and stuff on the inside uh, but it was taking up too much room in the car. Um, and so I got, gave that to him. And then I gave a whole bunch of my clothes that I had in my duffel bag to a group of ladies who were living outside. And then 
Um, I still want to get rid of some of my camping stuff, but I think I'm just at our next camp. I'm just going to go through it and then we'll donate to Goodwill or something, either while we're out here or when I get back to, um, when I get back to Oregon. So the goal is to keep having less and less stuff. No, there's no Carl's Jr. There was a Hardee's, but it was closed. Um, can't still new, but this place looks nice. Aw, heart, you're sweet. This is actually just for tonight, because the new campsite, I got there, and all the sites were taken. <laughs> so, here we are. I just scrambled to find a place, and tomorrow we'll go to the campsite that we're actually going to be back at. Oh, of course. Samiris, I will. Do you still do your singing streams or are those on hold, are those on hold while you travel? Um, it's a little bit hard to do the like full on stuff just because I don't have a mixer and then any audio you guys hear is going to be through my speaker and you know what I mean? I feel like it's not very high quality. We did sing the other night though on stream. Yeah, so like I think it's exploded everywhere. I, I think that our our country is being mismanaged and has been mismanaged for a very long time. Not, you know, I don't think that there has really been an emphasis on taking care of our, our unhoused population or our mental health crisis or really anything. I think that our money, our tax dollars are being thrown at things that they oughtn't be when we haven't taken care of when we haven't taken care of our own citizens, but that's a whole <laughs> that's a whole other thing. Housing market is broken. I just want to go to Seattle. Just work at a retro game store with decent health care. There's so many good retro stores in Seattle. And Portland, too. I would love health care. <laughs> Every time I get sick, I'm like, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Tyler, this is good. That's his big cup. So it's that. And that's peanut butter. Not the breakfast, too. Did you see how built up North Gate is these days? Really? I never really ever found myself up that far north often. Probably because there wasn't anything out there. Except for that mall. I'm so thankful for and I have a home tonight. Holy cow. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind before. I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. Most of that mall is not a crack and ice complex. Oh, wow. Good night, Mojo. Sleep well. Just the, just the nature of things, I suppose. It's so crazy how different there is. It's so crazy different up there now. 
Ja, warte mal, wenn ich den. The power is so Let me bring this back. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Are you there? Can you hear me? Hi. <laughs> okay. Yay. So the power went out. All the lights went out. <laughs> thank you for the five dollars, Heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No Wait, what? Oh, heart, thank you so much for the five dollars. Ow, my legs are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, all right, so huh. this windstorm is supposed to go all through the day tomorrow. What are we going to do? How are we going to make this okay? Okay, I think tomorrow, before I go to the new campsite, I'm 
Maybe I need to go by tarps. Smooth tarps, and then I can zip tie them to the pop up tent. How am I going to set up the pop up tent in this wind? If I can't set up the pop up tent, then Phil and I have to sleep. I have to sleep in the driver's seat, and Phil has to sleep in her little seat. Yeah, it's storming real bad. Real, real bad, real good, real bad. I need to plug you guys in. So we are not going to be on, um, we are not going to be on the little mic anymore. Seems like a good idea to have you guys have his phone charging right now, just in case the power goes out again. Do you guys want me to swim? My love came in and said, Sammy, your good day is over and the whole internet has had to be reset. Oh my god. I really want my pajamas. What the dog doing? <laughs> She's sleeping. She's sleeping. She's lying over there. I'd let her on the bed, but she just didn't want to be lying with me after a certain amount of time. Thank you.